Hi guys, good morning. I am Trish with Unique Me 303 Healing and Empowerment. I'm going to be doing today's Ascension messages for um, July 17th through 21st, 2020. Before I do, there were some extra messages that I was told to write down and share with you guys. The first message was, <clears throat> chase your dreams. They won't chase you. So it's time for people to put some action into uh, fulfilling those dreams. Those things that you want to manifest into your life, you have to put action into. You show the universe that you're uh, putting in that action and you're trying to put, you know, um, some effort into that, the universe is going to put effort into it too, is what I got from that. Um, be clear with your decisions. Don't confuse the universe. And this is about like complaining. And when you're complaining, you're basically telling the universe that you're not grateful for stuff. An ungrateful heart doesn't really get too much. Um, and then also talking as if you don't, deserve something or you won't be able to achieve something is also telling the universe that 101 you can look that up on sacred scribes but that's also telling the universe that you don't want it you don't need it you don't deserve it blah 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 so quit doing those things start working with your council of nine guardians angels guides etc by meditating and asking and intending to see the faces and bodies of those guides angels etc um one by one, and then maybe even ask for names. Now, it, when you're asking for names, just know not all of them have names. That's not something that happens all over the universe. You know, um, languages are different. There's not a lot of spoken languages with a lot of beings. So just know that some of them might not even have names. Or you might just see like an initial or some kind of like symbol or something of that sort that would represent that particular guide or angel or what have you. Um, there was one card that came out as I was shuffling. This was Power Animal. It says your animal spirit guide is a guardian to you and is helping you with this situation. A lot of you are starting to connect with your animal totems, your animal spirit guides, those protectors, those animals that are trying to communicate with you and give you signs and omens of what is to come or things that you need to change or what have you. Pay attention to like the, the animals that you're seeing repeating. Like if you're seeing them two, 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 you look that up on Sacred Scribes too, but if you're seeing them out in nature every single day, like I've been seeing rabbits every day, every single day. And, um, Last night, I had a cicada come and visit me, started like chirping or whatever it is that they do. And as soon as I tried to get a video or a picture of it, it jumped out of the car. It's like, I don't want to have anything to do with you now. Um, but anyway, it was definitely trying to communicate to me. So look up those animals. Um, just Google rabbit symbolism. And then you're going to see like all kinds of different websites that will take you to different various things that have to do with what the animal represents and what it could possibly mean for you. And it'll always have something to do with what's something that's going on in your life. So just pay attention to those animals that are repeating. You can be seeing them on billboards. You can be seeing them out in nature. You can be dreaming about them or thinking about them. You could be doing readings and those animals come out. What have you. It doesn't really matter. Seeing totems or uh, statues or ceramics of those certain things or pictures. What have you. Any of those. All of the and above could be um, <clears throat> going on. So anyway. I was told to go to the fairy cards without even asking. It just popped into my head. So I'm going to go ahead and start with them. Am I supposed to take both of these? Okay himself and g o the slow okay i said it like that because that's exactly what it is it's a slow moving energy okay himself a number 17 card one being about uh the law of attraction like attracts like so whatever kind of energy you're putting out there is exactly what you're going to get back you know it reminds me of whatever it was that it said um chase your wait whoa whoa whoa, whoa. be clear on your decisions don't confuse the universe by complaining by Acting as if you're not great or uh, grateful and don't deserve it. Those things are going to hold you back. Seven being about spiritual awakenings, transformation, um, enlightenment. But himself is about shamanic powers, natural magic, um, learning to, to see and learn about the healing part of you. Um, but I'm getting mostly natural magic. People starting to see their natural abilities and their natural magic starting to apply those things in their life. Some of you may even be going through heart chakra, uh, third eye and crown chakra activations or awakenings or openings, whatever you want to call it. So starting to have things happening within those things. Um, Geo the slow. This is a 43 card rounds down to number seven. Again, about spiritual awakenings Four being about the, um, uh, 
crap, the angels might be working with you. Three, the Ascended Masters could be working with you. Both and all of the above is what I heard. But this is about a slow-moving energy. Some of you just feeling like um, no matter what you do, how much time and energy you put into something, it's taking you forever to get results. The reason why is because it's not time for you to get those results. We think that we need things when we need it or when we want it. And the universe knows exactly when we're supposed to have things, whether it be a relationship, a job, you know, that financial security, you know, traveling people coming back into our lives whatever it knows exactly what we're supposed to do so if it's a slow moving energy for you it's supposed to be and then for others of you this might be just reminding you you need to slow down take this week I've been told take this week for me don't be worrying about cleaning the house all day when I'm off or blah 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 but take the time for me to do things for me whether it be manicuring my fingernails and my toenails um, giving myself a facial just going out and hiking and being nature alone whatever it may be I need to take the time to slow down and be in my own heart space and with myself you know just be that's it just be a lot of us right now are meditating, contemplating, uh, seeking out guidance. So congratulations on that. But I'm seeing like people are just really going out and enjoying nature, being alone even, um, connecting and feeling, I'm feeling like a lot of people are feeling energy swirling around them, being inside them, starting to really feel the Kundalini energy. That's a great place to be. Congratulations, guys. What cards am I supposed to get to now? I heard angels and fairies. Which cards? Okay, I'm guessing angel and then fairies again. I don't know why, but we'll see. Angels, what messages do you have for me, please, for July 17th through 21st, 2020? For all individuals already aware, they're on an ascension journey and going through an awakening process. Am I supposed to take that top one? Okay, thank you. Serafina and Vanessa. Serafina says, I am the angel of families. A happy change or addition is coming to your family. Some of you may have somebody in the family that is talking about a pregnancy or wanting to get pregnant. Some of you are in um, a state of taking in vitro or something to do with fertility. I feel like some of you have a ways to go with that. It's just not the right time. Okay, again, that slow moving energy, it's not the right timing, guys. So make sure you're praying and meditating before spending a bunch of money on this in vitro because it may be something that God's just saying it's not the time. He may be wanting to bless you in a way where you have your own children eventually without having the in vitro. Yes, I'm hearing. Wait on it. Be patient. Do healing on your body and on yourself. And you'll start to see changes happening. Um, some of your grandparents becoming parents all over, becoming parents all over again to your grandchildren because of your kids not taking care of them, them being taken away for, for, from uh, from them and going into CPS or foster care, what have you. Um, a lot of you are stepping up to take on that that challenge is what I'm hearing. So um, if that's you, my love is going out to you guys. Um, just know there's always a, a, a plan. Okay, there's a reason for everything that happens. There's a reason why you're raising your grandchildren or what have you. Um, I can't give you that reason. It's going to be different for everybody. I have that same kind of situation that's happened in my life. However, um, what I'm feeling is it's divinely planned. Okay, Vanessa, to make your decision, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine life purpose? Which way takes me further away from it? If you're trying to make a decision on a relationship, whether it be with a romantic partner, a twin flame, a soulmate, with a friendship, with a business, a business partner, something like that, make sure that you're praying and meditating and asking, is me walking away or staying away from this person or, or um, partner taking me away from my divine life purpose and if it is you need to do whatever you need to do to resolve it and make things right if you walking it away is taking you uh, closer to your divine life purpose then that's exactly what you're supposed to be doing however make sure that you're praying and meditating and seeking guidance get with your council of nine your angels your guardians your guides etc so that you can have a clear and decise accurate um, make an accurate decision on what is best for you. Doesn't mean that you, you don't have self-will and you can't choose to do something different or be with somebody different or have a different partner or things like that, but your decision has to be clear so that the universe can start acting accordingly and changing things around for you or what have you. Don't just pray and then still stay around the same person that you know that you're not supposed to. Letting go is a hard M effort. Trust me, I know. I've been having to let go of people. And... Um, 
it only makes us stronger though. If the people are meant to be in our lives, they'll come back regardless, okay? So just know if it's time for you to let go or time for you to come back, make sure that you're seeking guidance on those things. Um, what cards am I supposed to go to now? Thank you. Universal energies, what messages? Am I supposed to take all of those? Just the bottom. Confidence is your key to success. This is a solar plexus card, so you may be starting to feel more in your power by letting go of those things, by accepting your natural magic, by by starting to listen to the omens and the signs that your animal spirit guides are giving you or any of your guidance is giving you. Um, but just being confident in all those things is start, starting to help you to be more powerful, starting to feel more in your own power. Um, if you don't feel confident, call upon the lion or the tiger. Both of them are capable of giving you courage and strength and agility some of you need to have. Um, but that courage is the biggest, things, the biggest thing right now. So push past those fears. Um, bring yourself up to a, a higher vibrating energy um, that helps you to... What am I trying to say? That helps you to feel more in your power. Universal energies. What other messages? Thank you. A win-win outcome is forecast. Okay, so what I'm seeing with this card is in many different situations. Some of you are coming into financial security. Okay, I was in this place. I was starting to do really good. Had some money saved up. I started to do the things I was guided to do. And my money started dwindling down. However, I was guided to do those things. So I did it. But what I'm learning now is by not having as much money as I did before. I don't know why the color keeps going in and out, but it's driving me nuts. Anyway, by not having as much money as I did before, I am letting go of programming that I was taught my entire life that, you know, always going to be poor. You know, you have to work really, really hard to achieve the money that, uh, that you desire, blah, blah, blah. But it's the opposite. It has definitely been the opposite. And I'm starting to realize that. And this programming is going down. So for some of you are starting to balance out those beliefs or those, you're starting to have balance in the, that type of area when it comes to finances, financial security, the beliefs that you have with, with money and um, achieving a desired result, what have you. As well as, um, for some of you, this is a relationship. I'm talking about relationships with a soul partner, with a twin flame. This could be also with a family member um, that is starting to come back into your life. But what I'm seeing is take your time. Um, talk things through. Work on you. Um as long as you are working on you and being the change that you want to see in others, that change is going to happen. Okay, so this is an inside job for some of you, but th this is about people coming back together is what I'm getting, uh, uh, coming back together. Um, some of you are achieving very new heights to your uh, states of awareness or your levels of enlightenment or what have you. You know, you don't just become enlightened and you stay there. You continue to become more and more and more and more enlightened. The more time and energy you put into uh, seeking the truth, the more enlightened you become. 1313. 13. Look that up on Sacred Scribes. But a lot of you are learning that, you know, you have a lot of magical powers. You have the power to manifest things at a rapid race rate. You um also a lot of you are having the like stepping in into the power and the knowing of oh crap what was it you just said to me why did I have a blank okay I guess I wasn't meant to share that I had a blank but anyway <laughs> a lot of you are starting to see your natural magic starting to really pick up on uh, the kundalini energy the life force the chi whatever you want to call it um, just having a great connection in general that's a great place to great place to be. Okay, what cards am I supposed to go to now? Animal cards. Animal spirit guides. Thank you. Okay, this is really weird. This is one of the moon cards. It was mixed in with the animal spirit guides. And as these two animal spirit guides came out, it was, um, you know, in there. So I'm going to go ahead and read this one too because I feel like it was meant to be read. Don't know how it got in there. Wolverine, you're a lot tougher than you think that you are. I'm going to read what the book has to say about this one. Because I feel like there's an extra message that needs to be told here. And I don't know what it is. Okay, let's see here. Wolverine, where are you? You have what it takes to deal with this turmoil. One where events have taken a different turn from what you had expected. 
Recall those times when you have faced adversity, when you had had to dig deep inside yourself to discover the internal resources and the will to continue onward. As you recall those memories, be aware of how they feel in your body. Anchor those feelings by calling on them to shore up your courage and help you maintain your dignity. By dealing with this situation head on and paying attention to the nuisances of the shift energies, shifting energies, your inner wisdom will dictate when to move ahead and when to retreat, helping you sustain your power throughout. By maintaining this stance, you're not only protecting yourself physically and emotionally, but also spiritually. Call upon the warrior inside, the archaeal pal aspect of yourself that's charged with defending the internal kingdom and the archaeal pal king or queen. This is one of those times when you definitely need to be assertive with others, saying no when necessary, asking for what you want, and sustaining your physical and emotional boundaries. Pull your shoulders back, lift up your head, look straight ahead, and keep a relaxed vigilance. Do your best not to complain and to be a martyr about what you are involved in presently, for it will only drag you down. Okay, that's what I was trying to say before anyway. But that's what this card is about. The next card is Penguin. The period of darkness that you've been experiencing is now passing. Some of you are going, have been for a while, going through like a shadow death, an ego side, you know, trying to get rid of the devil on your shoulder, what have you. Um, this is starting to pass for some of you and you're starting to come in into you, moving up the mountain instead of feeling like you're in the valley. Okay, I talk about this all the time. So a lot of you are starting to move upwards, um, climbing up out of the turmoil and the situations that have been dragging you down. Congratulations for that. That. Um, pretty much every single chakra is present in this card except for the sacral chakra so some of you may just be going through a lot with your chakras the answers you need are coming this is a card that was um, in with the animal cards this is a throat chakra card so some of you may be feeling a lot of tension or feel like your throat's full of crap or what have you um, but as I'm saying this, mine's starting to itch and stuff. So some of you may be going through that, uh, feeling like you need to speak your truth, standing up for yourself, uh, all kinds of stuff like that. But th these answers that are coming are answers um, to the prayers and meditation. So make sure that you're paying attention to all those signs and omens, those things that you're seeing out in nature, the clouds, you know, the feathers that are dropping on the ground videos and literature that you're being guided to listen or watch or read or what have you make sure that you're using your discernment of spirit and you know whatever you're supposed to see in here is exactly what you're supposed to see in here at that time what other messages do you have please for <clears throat> july 17th through 21st 2020 for all individuals already aware of their own ascension journey and go on through an awakening process please what other messages do you have Risk and riches. Rich, riches is a number 10 card. This 10 being about endings and conclusions, new beginnings, staying positive through those changes and transformation. This is riches in all kinds of different ways. That finances that you're needing to come in. Um, riches in love and romance. Some of you, this is, you know, a change in health for you. But this is just new cycles in a lot of these areas for many of us. Yes, yes, yes. This is a card of intuition and following your intuition and guidance that's going to lead you to those riches. Yes, is what I'm hearing. The next card is risk. This is a number one card. This is about <clears throat> um, staying positive through different changes and transformations. But there's risk that comes with those things. I'm feeling like this is a risk of like emotional risk, like feeling like you're down and out or what have you. But, you know, it's something that you have to push past. It's fears that you have to move forward with, um, not move forward with, but get past and move forward. But anyway, that's what that card is about. Okay. Um, today's I am affirmations. I am powerful. I have the power to create positive change. I am awareness. Sorry, guys. I know they're backwards, too. I am focused on what I want. Please like, share, su subscribe, and follow if you don't already. Let me know down in the comments below if this reading resonates with you. Um, thank you to anybody who's been making donations to my channel. If you want to make donations or make an appointment with me, all of the information is in the description below this video. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. I love you. Bye.